three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. All right, welcome to Roots of Reality. I'm your host, Ben Bauman, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of parasites. So, as human beings, we often look at ourselves as a person sort of living on this orbiting rock in space in a vast and mysterious universe, and perhaps we are living in just one universe among many. However, when we examine ourselves deeper, we find that inside of us is a whole another world. In itself, just on the microscopic level, because our bodies are the homes of trillions and trillions of microscopic organisms. Now, think about that for a moment, because literally your body is like its own planet, and many are not even aware of it or surely not thinking actively about it. Unfortunately, though, when it comes to the complexity of our bodies, not everything living inside us is supposed to be there. And that is where parasites come in. These are sort of these foreign microscopic organisms that invade our bodies and can make us sick eventually and can even potentially kill us. And this has been an ongoing battle since the dawn of our species. For instance, for thousands of years, we've been dealing with parasites from the genus Plasmodium. And these parasites get passed from mosquitoes to people causing malaria, which kills about 600,000 people a year, and has been infecting people going all the way back to ancient Egypt. And then there are the parasitic worms of the world. Tapeworms, hookworms, roundworms, etc. You get infected by them by accidentally eating their eggs, which leads them to hatch inside your body, causing an infection. These parasitic worms have also been a cause of infections for thousands of years, even being described in ancient Greece. And then we have Giardia, which is a parasite found in contaminated food and water, which causes diarrhea in people. These infections are unfortunately common in impoverished nations with low hygiene standards and are often an issue for travelers visiting such nations. For example, if you ever take a trip to any country that you know has a decent amount of poverty, you will have a very decent chance of getting Giardia if you eat the local food or drink the local water. Um, that's just kind of goes with the territory. However, one of the most dangerous parasites a person get is called the brain-eating amoeba, which is found in lakes, rivers, and springs. And this amoeba will essentially swim up your nose when you're in the water and cause an infection that is usually fatal. Now, getting this infection is very rare, but if you do get it, you're essentially screwed almost because the survival rate is quite low. Now, there are plenty of other parasites in the world that don't infect people, and probably one of the most unique is the zombie ant fungus. Essentially, this is a fungus that can infect certain ants and turns them into the sunlight-seeking zombie to promote fungal growth until the fungus outgrows its host, causing the ant's head to literally explode before seeking its next victim. And luckily for us, there is no evidence such parasites could be transmitted to people, thank God. So with that, the microscopic world shows us another layer of complexity in our universe that we often don't think about because we can't see it with the naked eye, but it is always there, living inside us. So hopefully as modern medicine develops, we'll be able to prevent more of these parasitic infections from happening to us, especially in the poorer countries around the world, preventing more people from dying. So as always, remember, billions of years led to you. Just to make the most of it.